Welcome to the cathedral as we celebrate today St. Barnabas Day. Also the 38th anniversary, the birthday of St. Barnabas Hospice in Lincoln and Lincolnshire. There is so much to celebrate. But what about this man, St. Barnabas, after whom our hospice is named? Well, surprisingly enough, some of the apostles, some of the close disciples of Jesus, we know precious little about them. Indeed, some of them even argue about their correct name. But St. Barnabas, chosen by Lot to replace Judas, we know quite a lot about. I could start going through the Acts of the Apostles and telling you all the different things we know about this special man. I'll leave you to do that. There's two words that I just quickly want to look at, which seem to sort of characterise St. Barnabas. The first one is generosity, and the second one is encouragement. Generosity and encouragement. Generosity seemed to mark St. Barnabas' life. Yes, in giving money, his resources, but also in time and energy and enthusiasm for spreading the good news of Jesus Christ. He did it selflessly, giving of all that he had for this great work, proclaiming the good news of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ who came with a message of healing and wholeness and peace and love. St. Barnabas, a man of generosity, but also encouragement as well. Whether he was talking to a large group of people or just to one or two people, individually his friends, he encouraged them. When they were down, he brought them up. When there was despair, he gave them hope. St. Barnabas, a man of generosity and a man of encouragement. And I'd like to think those two characteristics, those two virtues, mark what we love about St. Barnabas Hospice here in Lincolnshire. People giving generously of their experience, their professionalism and their talents. Giving their resources to make this wonderful work happen. Delivering free of charge, high quality, compassionate end of life care of patients, their families and their carers. Providing the gift of enabling life, of gift, providing the gift of enabling people to live life as fully as possible. And from that, of course, stems the gift of encouraging. Encouraging individuals and families and carers in often the most difficult and challenging of times. So together, as we come together on this St. Barnabas Day, we give thanks for St. Barnabas, and we give thanks for those who have been, been inspired by his life. Those who reflect his virtues today in generosity and in encouragement. A prayer, a collect for this special day. Bountiful God, giver of all gifts who poured your spirit upon your servant Barnabas and gave him grace to encourage others. Help us by his example to be generous in our judgments and unselfish in our service. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And God, who has prepared for you a city with eternal foundations, bring you with St. Barnabas and all the saints to the eternal and triumphant joy of his kingdom. 
and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon you and those whom you care for, those whom you love, this day and always. Amen.